everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Right now I'm on my way home, I just dropped off Sunday from school. Uh, it's going to be a nice beautiful sunny day today here in Southern Orange County. Uh, the sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. It's already 60, 6 degrees right now, so it's, uh, I think it's going to get into the, into the 70s, ideal dot-com lifestyle weather. And uh, I get to experience it all because uh, this windshield on this Tesla is the world's biggest piece of automotive glass. It goes all the way to the back of my head. So like there's no, you know, no, uh, I guess the, the windshield frame that's in front of me if this was a normal car. So it's, it's like being in uh, on an airplane canopy, you know, those kind of airplane canopy. So yeah, cool. Anyway, uh, I want to answer... A, a email that I got from a reader, and uh, this email, it's it's pretty, it's, it's, a, it's a one of those, like, questions that they, someone just asked me out of the blue, probably not expecting an answer, but they asked me anyway, and that that question is, what is do you think is the main difference between rich people and poor people? Is it the way they think? Is it the, like, and they, he said that, I don't want an answer, like, they think differently because I hear that all the time. It's, it's the, my, I, don't want, I don't want to hear a mindset answer or I want to hear a, an answer that actually sounds, you know, not Tony Robin like. <laughs> okay, so I, I do have one. I do have one. And if you remove the, uh, the psychology or the mindset, which actually I do think is very important, then that, that probably honestly, in the big scheme of things, it's probably the main difference between rich people and poor people. They have a different mindset. They think differently. Their thought process is different. But if you don't want to hear that kind of answer, I will tell you the other answer between the rich and the poor. And, and you will agree with it because it just empirically, there's empirical evidence and everything about it. All right, so here it is. The biggest difference between rich and poor is the poor work for their money. The rich have their money work for them. That's it. That's basically it. Just, just all you gotta do is just take a look at the ultra rich people out there, and take a look at you know people who are working for their money. That's the biggest difference. You know, the average person who's working for money is an employee. They trade hours for money, and when you're trading hours for money, it's it's dependent on you. If you're not trading, you're not working, you're not making any money. Now. The rich have money work for them. They invest their money, and the money makes interest. Their money, they leverage their money, and the power of leverage is amazing. Like if you, I guess you know, you look at someone like uh, like Warren Buffett. Like Warren Buffett, he he's the uh, he's the founder of Berkshire, and if you look at the number of assets he has, he's worth like he's worth like it was eighty billion dollars, eighty billion dollars now. If he's able to get 10% return on that $80 billion, that's $8 billion a year. And uh, I don't care what kind of job you have. There is no job in this world that pay, will pay you $8 billion a year. It's just, it's, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So simple as that. So that, 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 that's basically the number one difference. So if you want to be rich, you do what the rich do. And if you know that the rich have their money work for them instead of them working for money, then obviously if you want to become rich, you need to have your money work for you as well. Now, the problem then comes is I have no money to invest. I have no money saved up and that's what you got to change. And remember a while back I did a video on the rules of getting rich and it's only two steps. The first rule, the first step is you have to make more than you spend. And then the second step is you need to invest the difference because the rich have their money work for them so in order for you to become rich you must first make more than you spend so you have money and then you put that money to work so that money starts working for you so so that's a bit of practical no question you cannot say mindset that kind of thing that's a that's the biggest difference between the rich and the poor you want to be rich have your money work for you don't have any money? Well, you better make more than you spend. Start making some more money. They don't have any money. Uh, either you know, find some make more money, work more hours. Don't recommend that. Get a part-time job. Don't recommend that. Best way to make more money. Online business. 
basically what I do make make money online and want to learn how to do that download my ebook the link is below this video get your copy it shows you the three business models that I use to make money online and live the dot com lifestyle alright so uh, that's it for this episode if you like it give me a thumbs up I'm coming home I'm coming home right now so yeah I'm gonna end this right now see you guys on the next episode later